What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for the for future readings. This is a free channel uh, collective reading hashtag glow up series for the sign of cups. This can resonate if you have cups in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, work, move, and energy of your chart. So, keep the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and uh, leave the rest. Um, I res uh, one message may resonate with you. Two may resonate. Two plus may resonate or none may resonate. This is a free general public reading. Um, so it's very important to only plug the messages in that resonate if they do resonate for you in your personal situation. If uh, please don't force anything, don't fit. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. This is hashtag glow up. It's a little different than um, my other series. It's a positive aspect on the energy. Um, truth hidden is basically that all the nasty, shicey stuff people don't want you to know. This is focuses on growth and healing and prosperity and the positive light side of things. So um, I just want to clarify the differences of the series. Number 39, 42, 24, or 36 it could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly. 39, 42, 24, 36. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, or any other significant number in your life in any, any other shape, form, or fashion. 39, 42, 24, 36. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy for Glow Up for May of 2022. I heard um, the final stand is all I heard, the final stand. So... Maybe that's a book, maybe that's a movie, maybe you enjoy that if it's a book or a movie, maybe, or maybe you're going to physically take a final stand against person, people, place, or situation, or somebody you're connected to is. Some kind of final stand energy if that particular message applies for you, Capricorn. You plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. We have creation, the masculine, adjacent possibilities, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. That's solar plexus. Creation. A pregnancy is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. Oh, Lord, we got pregnancy energy and um, Pisces breeding, too. So for some, it could be a Pisces that's pregnant or you impregnated a Pisces or a Pisces impregnated you. Or for some of you guys, I feel you're dealing with a Pisces, possibly. And I'm, I'm just being serious. Um, but you only you know you're showing out anybody else. But some kind of pregnancy energy, whether you're pregnant or um, somebody you're connected to is pregnant, somebody's pregnant. Um it's about to become significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Creation energy in this aspect is the creation of the um, embryo and uh, the sperm with the egg, creating the embryo in the womb. You plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. And one Capricorn is about to start a home business. And one Capricorn is going to start side comedian work oh that's good so one of you guys is um, going to start a home business i heard and one of you guys is going to start side comedian work so um creation in this aspect is creating something uh, some kind of side hustle side gig energy or home business energy for yourself is what it sounds like some it's side comedian work some um i think it, i think it's stand up i think it's stand up comedy or something of that nature um, but on the side, if that resonates for you, some, it's some kind of home business energy, whatever that is and how that applies in your life. And some, this is the creation of the baby in the womb. And for one Capricorn, this is a written contract with someone in their home living situation. Things have gotten way out of hand. They want to try to put a handle on things. Oh, Lord. 
And for one of you guys, I heard this is a written home contract. It sounds like someone you live with in your current living space, Capricorn. I heard um, you want to try to put a handle on things. So whatever the handle on things is, whoever this person is and how they apply, I feel it could be a child, a spouse, a, um, a, a partner, a live-in, um, a family member, um, a significant other, a friend, a friend of me, whoever, somebody that lives in your current living space. Uh, creation of this home contract. It sounds like you're going to create this home contract if this message applies for you because something's got out of hand. Now, whatever has got out of hand, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. The masculine. A particular masculine energy is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. For some, it is an investigator. For some, it is a third-party energy. For some, they're about to realize their ex has moved on. The masculine is the ex. That is the ex's new partner. Oh, my. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a particular masculine energy is about to become very significant in your life if this resonates for you, um, Caps. For some, it's an investigator. For some, it is... Um, a third party energy so it could be you free willingly taking on this third party energy or a uh, masculine energy you're about to find out about that is a third party energy to you how that resonates um and for some it this masculine energy is a um is the masculine energy of one of your exes you're about to realize your ex has moved on um so you plug it in how it resonates whether this is the masculine energy of the um new uh, of your ex's new man and i'm feeling it is a masculine uh or an investigator which is a man or a um um third party energy whether you free willingly have a third party masculine energy or your partner ha ha brought on a third party masculine energy i'm feeling it strongly feel for a lot of you guys it is actually a masculine energy for some it could be a femme that takes on heavy masculine you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you confirmation for my kitty by the way and he hasn't done that all day adjacent possibilities A new board game will be created. Oh, wow. That's cool. I heard a new board game will be created. So, um, wow, that's cool. So maybe you work for like, um, maybe you work for one of the big brands. Like, um, if this resonates for you. I feel like you might work for one of the big brands. Like, um, the ones that create Battleship or, um, or, uh, Monopoly or something like that. Ha I think it's Hasbro. Um, Maybe you're about to, maybe you work for like Hasbro or something like that, one of the big brands that creates the board games, and you're going to create a new board game or help create a new board game. And that could be the creation energy as well, creating this new board game. Whether you work for one of those big brand companies or you just create your own board game at home or with somebody else, that's pretty cool. Whoever that's for, that is really freaking cool, man. Um, I would love to know if you want to tell me. Of course, you know the rules. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. That's really cool. And a new minivan is about to become significant in a Capricorn's life. And a new minivan is about to become significant in a Capricorn's life. So adjacent possibilities is um, many aspects, many avenues, many aspects, many ventures, many paths um, to choose from. Um, so I'm thinking with the new minivan energy, maybe you looked around at many different vehicles, many different minivans, many different styles, many different... Um, makes and models and bells and whistles and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you're about to choose a new minivan with all these adjacent possibilities of previous minivans or previous vehicles. How that resonates and then some kind of new board game energy, whether you create this new board game or somebody else does, or you work for a big brand or you don't. 
um, how that resonates. That's really cool. And one Capricorn is about to realize a feminine energy has way more opportunities than he thought she did. Okay, and one Capricorn is about to realize um, a particular feminine energy has way more opportunities than he thought she did. So if this resonates, whoa, resonates for you, Caps, your masculine Caps. And you're about to realize that a fem energy, whoever this fem energy is and how they apply in your life, they have way more adjacent possibilities, basically, way more opportunities, pathways, possibilities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, doorways than you thought that she did. Whoever this person is and how they apply in your life, Capricorn. Second chakra, Archangel Ariel, this is uh, solar plexus. Weakness in lower extremities is about to become very, very, very significant for a particular type of form. Severe weakness. Oh, Lord. You plug it in how it resonates. Man, that's not hashtag glow up energy. But if it's not, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody you're connected to. It could be in a workspace situation, a business situation. Um, it could be a family member. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of sounds like bilateral lower weakness, extreme bilateral lower weakness. It sounds like upcoming for somebody, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, but it's about to become significant in one Capricorn's life. So I don't know if you're going to take care of this person in a workplace situation or a business situation, or you are this person. However, that resonates, but um, I heard severe bilateral lower weaknesses in lower extremities. So that's the legs. Severe bilateral weakness in, it sounds like both legs whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. I, I wonder if this person has like Gillian Bure or something. I wonder if they have like Gillian Bure. I didn't hear that they did, but I wonder if they do. Or something of that nature. You plug it in how it resonates. Or maybe they're rehabilitating, like physical rehabilitation, or maybe they got into a car accident or they're about to. Some kind of severe, severe bilateral lower extremity weakness. Or maybe they're having neurological problems. And it starts there, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this is solar plexus. It is, um, it, it controls neuro, basically. It controls neuro. It also can cont control other things too, but in this case, it's neuro, I'm feeling, neurological issues. Ooh. A star is about to be born. A star is about to be born is what I heard. A star is about to be born. Well, that's wonderful. So that could be you that is the star that's about to be born, Caps, or somebody you're connected to. Some kind of star about to be born energy, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, and that could be the um, second uh, adjacent possibilities too. Um, maybe some kind of star energy. Maybe for some it's a masculine that's a star that's about to be born. Maybe for some it's not. But um, some kind of creation of a star being born soon is what I'm feeling. I feel, I'm feeling a person, whether it's a masculine or feminine. Um, creation of adjacent possibilities for this star energy. But this star is about to be born, it sounds like, through many series of chain events. It doesn't sound like their star status yet. Um, they could be a celebrity or about to be a celebrity or just about to be famous in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, okay, Caps? Maybe you're going to help this star being born. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices, and namaste.